Hello my friends, welcome to another tutorial for Fusion DaVinci Resolve. Today we will be making this. And as usual you can download the files on my blog and link for my blog will be the, under the video in video description. So let's get to it. Alright, once you open the Fusion, go on uh, FX library, templates and folder where you extracted the file. Take the bubble like this, connect to the media out and you will get the bubble. And now let me show you how to recreate this. These four segments are first one, this here, it will be the circle in the inside. Next one will be a circle, this white white circle outside. Next one will be this one, this little spot, and these two eclipses will be this small segment here, like a reflection. And now let's uh, recreate this. First we will take background like this. We will change the resolution, click on uh, uncheck the auto resolution to 1512, uh, 512, 512, 512 like this. You can press number 2 on the keyboard and then you will get a black break background. Change the four corners, four corner like this, uh, reduce the alpha like this and then for the top right just use the yeah this white okay so next one we will take the eclipse like this and then you will get the circle here also you can change aspect ratio to 1 so it, it will be square just like this and take the merge connect to the background like this and press number 2 on the keyboard next one all we have to do is uh, select just like this eclipse and the background and control C for copy and control V for paste and then connect to the background to the top like this. Next one we will select the clips and uncheck the solid and uh, only change the border 0 0.5 or uh, 0 0.1 I think it's uh, better yeah 0 0.1 okay um, next one on the background will be solid color and white. If you want to change the thickness of the border, obviously you go in the in the side uh, the eclipse and uh, change to the zero zero five. Then it will be a little thinner. Next one we will again take the merge like this. And then take the background node like this, or you can just uh, take this one and control C for copy and control V to the paste, and then connect to the yellow arrow like this. Now we will disconnect this one and connect this one to the green arrow just like this. Connect this one to the um, merge number seven and then you will get merge number eight here okay so now we will have this background to, ch to change uh, the background only have to do to scroll all the way to, to, to the black and then uh, you will get the uh, opacity all the way back to zero and then you will see the the bubble is taking shape so now next one will be making we will making the small spot on the top left again we will take eclipse and the background control c to copy control v for the paste 
and uh, we will move a little bit take another merge like this uh, connect everything like this and connect to the merge just like this and then you will get the merge here this merge will be used for the for movement and uh, opacity connect uh, click on the background control C copy and control V for the paste connect to the green arrow like this and to change uh, between backgrounds hold control and press T on the keyboard and then click on the background opacity all the way to the zero and then you will click on the eclipse we will check here on the solid we will adjust the size you can make a smaller bigger it's up to you something like this and then when is this finished you can just check the angle uh, angle 45 degrees or minus 45 in this case and just move up a little bit as, uh, as you can see this is uh, too big for my taste and uh, because of this we will just uh, reduce the size a little bit and then uh, move a little bit up just like this and this one is finished up next one we will do we will uh, select everything Eclipse background merge and this background and just control C for copy and control V for the paste and then uh, again connect to the another merge what we will do here is uh, this spot we will move like this to the bottom but uh, if you want to change uh, opacity on the on the last on the first one you can just go on the click on the merge and uh, change the blend and then uh, it will ch just change the alpha just like this opacity you know? okay it's the same uh, same uh, thing with the uh, with this one on the bottom like this okay now uh, to make the small reflection we all we, all we have to do is uh, control C for copy or, and control V for the paste for this eclipse and then change the paint mode to subtract and then uh, all we have to do is uh, move a little bit just like this and uh, change the size you can adjust and play and uh, play around and adjust how you how would you would like it and uh, this is basically it our bubble is finished all right now I will do something more interesting and we will take it to the ne next level we will take our bubbles and then take the particle emitters we will take particle renderer and par and uh, renderer. Connect uh, particle renderer to renderer. Connect particle emitter to the particle render, and to get the bubble inside the particle emitter, we will have to change in the paint mode for the bitmap. And now we can connect. To the particle emitter and we will get the bubbles inside the particle emitters we will click on control tab we will click on the keyframe here change the particle number 50 go on the frame here go on the frame 1 click another keyframe and reduce the number to zero like this you click on the render press three, 2 now on the keyboard and you will see the bubbles here to scatter around you will have to go inside the 
you see this tab here this is the region go click on the cube reduce the depth to zero and change the size of the width like this and the height okay now to change to adjust a little more so you can put the number two and uh, height 2 or 2.5 for the width like this and they are scattered around now what we can do more here is uh, go inside the style uh, you can change the colors you can change the size controls I will change the size size variance a little bit like this you can take the fade controls like this and now we can play again and see our bud our, our bubbles okay bubbles are here click again on the controls tab here we need to change the lifespan because uh, here for the lifespan is 100 frames timeline is 5 seconds or 300 frames so we will need to change here for the 300 frames and now we will see here our bubbles stay all the way to the 5 seconds what we need to do now more is to add the movement for the movement you press on the particle emitter, uh, press on the keyboard control and space and you will get uh, this select tool and we will use particle, this is P and directional force. Click on the dire directional force and click add. And this is uh, this will add uh, movement. You can put uh, direction. You can go. It can go up. You can go down, on the left or right, or however you want. And now when we play, uh, all bubbles will be uh, will go down. And then uh, when they finished, they will disappear. If you wish. You can change the strength. I will change the strength to 003, for example. They go very, very slowly there. You can barely see it. And the last one, we will click on the direction of force, and then we will add particle turbulence. And then when you play, they will, you will see how they're moving around. And that's it. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. Give a dislike if you didn't. Follow me on social media. Subscribe to the channel. Comment under the video if we have any questions. And I will see you in another video.